Hey guys, this is Steven K. <laughs> hey guys! Hey guys, this is Steven K.W. Lim here, and I am at Masu Spring Conference at The Ohio State University. And Masu is the largest Asian American student conference in all of the Midwest. So the Midwest is known for having a pretty low Asian American population. So I'm going to go ahead and go around asking people what their experiences was like growing up Asian in the Midwest. Here we go. What makes you as an Asian person growing up in the Midwest unique as opposed to like West Coast or East Coast? I feel like there's just not that many of us and even if there are, they're in small pockets. I haven't lived anywhere else so I want to know how, to, how it's different from anywhere else. You don't see a lot of Asians at ISU on campus. What's interesting about my experience is I grew up in an area with like mostly Latinos and Latinas. So you know I gained a respect for like like Mexican culture but I never got to engage in fully in Asian culture. The community that I was in, I was one of like four Asians, so I would say the way that people judged us was how we portrayed ourselves. I felt like sometimes, you know, the, ne the negative images for, uh, overshadowed the positive images of Asian Americans. Well, um, I think something really new about being Asian in the Midwest is that you're, you're not really surrounded by other Asian Americans, so I'm able to like make friends of all backgrounds and not um, just stick to one click. You grew up in California. What's the difference between like California Asian culture and Midwest Asian culture? Oh man, uh, honestly, like food is a huge deal over there. In general, I just know that food is damn good over there. Like it's so good. You don't really have to learn a lot about like your own culture because it's already there. It it has been embedded in their in, in, in daily parts of you know their e ecosystem. Well, I have a lot of friends who actually live in California and. I feel like they're all like one big group united because there's so many Asians there compared to where we live. It's just so diverse. It's not all Asians. Do you feel like it would have been different for you? You'd be a different person if you grew up in like the West Coast? I might be fatter because they have so much better food there, right? Uh, I'd be dark. Definitely. I think I'd be totally different because I wouldn't have the experience I had, you know, because a part of me loves like, you know, the culture, you know, of you know Latinos and Latinas, you know I love I love Mexican food or chata, you know, and I don't think I would have ever engaged in that if I had not been born in, into that, you know. So where do you guys want to move to when you graduate? Where do you guys want to go? Cali. Cali. <laughs> I, I would I would love to go to Cali, but Cali? just because. That's where our, I guess that's where our people at, are at, you know, that's where the good food is at. Huh. Chicago or? Ah, uh, no, not Chicago. Why not Chicago? I'm not a very complacent person. I kind of want to go around and like see other things. I don't know what I want to do after I graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I might move back to Taiwan for a year or something, but I want to come back. Yeah, I'm planning on coming back here. To the Midwest or? No, definitely not. <laughs> Somewhere towards south where it's warm. I'm going to change my residency to Minnesota. I love Minnesota. I mean, yeah, I see that, you know, the inequality and then all the segregation, all the division. And then as a social field work myself, you know, I want to be able to go there. I mean, live there and then, you know, be able to make some, you know, changes. So that's really cool that you want to stay in the Midwest. Yeah. Well, actually, I want to stay in the Midwest, Columbus, Ohio. My family's here. Oh, okay, because your family's here? Yes, my family's here. I love my family, so uh, I can't imagine going anywhere else. So hopefully I'm a nice Columbus girl. Yeah. Oh, all right. Can you name any Asian American YouTubers in the Midwest? Midwest? No, I do not know Like, if they're like from Midwest or not. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't really know any, man. So you guys don't know any Midwest Asian American YouTubers? You can't think of any? No, but do you know any? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just asking you guys. Besides you, right? Yeah. No, no. Why do you think there aren't YouTubers in the Midwest? I feel like uh, the West, West Side is really big into YouTube and it's just like, that's the place to be if you really want to get famous. As somebody who watches YouTube a lot, how do you feel about this? 
I'm fine with it. I mean, as long as I can watch them on YouTube, I'm fine. We don't have enough representation here in the Midwest. Um, so like most people here, there's like not really like I would say not proud to be Asian, but there's no reason to like show off their being Asian. You know, like while in California, it's cool to like want to eat rice. It's cool to like want to eat sushi. But here, like you know, we like to st we like to eat steak, chicken. It's just not really a need, I guess, or it's just not really something that's really um, put on the spotlight. If there's anything that you feel like you want to tell people about your experience growing up Asian in the Midwest, what would that be? Everyone's different and grows up differently in different environments, so never judge someone for who they are, but for who they truly are. I don't, I don't know. Don't judge people. Being Asian American isn't a limitation. Some people feel that it kind of like keeps them from doing things like sports or picking up girls or whatever the case may be. But honestly, you should, you should uh, own it and make it and make it your own. One thing is that when you guys or people started from like the south part, like myself or Atlanta, if you guys come to Minnesota or any part of the Midwest region, don't have that idea of oh, you know, people said people here, people are nice. Because honestly, it's just a little bit of like they're just covering it up. You know, you know, things, problems, and all these issues still exist in uh, Midwest as much as they do in southern part. They just tend to kind of wrap it nicely so that they don't see it, so people are blinded by it. Definitely in the Midwest and Colorado, I feel like a lot of people are rising up to find and that calling, you know, to find who they are and to be who they are. West Coast, we coming for you. Watch out. But uh, yeah, healthy competition, healthy competition. Thanks guys. One thing that I learned from these interviews is that even though there aren't a lot of Asians here in the Midwest, we still have a strong sense of our own identity. My hope is that the Asian community here can continue to grow and mature into a place where Asian Americans can flourish as individuals, artists, and leaders in this world. Hey guys, so I spent most of my life in the Midwest. And if you don't know, the Midwest is just this awkward area. It's difficult in that I knew my, my white friends weren't didn't or didn't have to be at a restaurant.